My name is Megan Grossman and I'm your Splash Correspondent here at the National Chemical Engineering Paddling Conference taking place at Bucknell University. Today, I will be highlighting some of America's best and brightest young undergraduates, Brandon Moore and Mackenzie Todd. They not only have a heart and mind for filter press and distillation, but also the fine arts of paddling. When they're not tearing up Professor Manival's transport class, or applying to some of the best graduate schools in the country, they're making waves in their kayaks. I was able to catch Bucknell's dynamic duo in action today. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. system is surrounded by a boundary that does not allow mass to pass through, so it cannot enter or exit. So for example, any mass in the pool, such as me, or the water molecules, can go to the boundary, but they cannot exit the pool. They're stuck inside. They'll stay in the system. However, energy can cross the boundaries of a closed system. So heat or sound that you hear me making in the pool can exit, or somebody can heat the pool through its boundaries to keep the water warm, and energy crosses the boundary, but not mass. Wow, engineering and athletics at the same time. She really does do it all. Now let's cut to another highlight of the weekend. the river we can say that this is the boundary for the section of the river that we're looking at and since the river is an open system mass can flow out of the boundary or into the boundary to flow into that section of the river additionally heat can flow into that section of the river through thermal radiation from something like the Sun and kinetic energy can flow out of that boundary as the water flows down and out of that section of the river that we're looking at. Well, there you have it folks. Special thanks to Brandon and Mackenzie for showing us their awesome